How do you measure the quality of education your institution provides to students? Um, I mean, there's, the, there's sort of the pat answer, which is we have um, assessment criteria and we have outcome statements. So there's 14 or 15 outcome statements uh, that talk through all of the different things that I want a designer to be um, when, they, when they graduate the program in order to have the impact that, that they need to have and that I want them to have. Um, and um, so they, they, students personally assess four times you know, at the end of each quarter. Faculty assesses them continually through the whole thing. Um, and generally speaking, you see an upward trend. Mm -hmm. um, and so you assess against those outcomes. That's, again, that's sort of like the pat answer. Um, I think the, the fuzzier answer is, is very much a, you can tell, you know it when you see it, um, and there's a, there's a dialogue around expectations, uh, what the work product and the difference, mm -hmm. that happens continually. Design's always about a work product, right? Whether it's you know, physical, digital, a service, whatever, you're making a thing. Um, and so that makes it extraordinarily easy uh, to, to judge progress because if you made a thing last week and you made a thing this week, we can compare them. Yeah. Um, and we can compare them over a long period of time. Um, and, and as long as we're always having a conversation around what the expectation was, where you performed, and, and what that difference is, um, students can start to internalize how to cross that, that differential chasm themselves. Um, and, and so that's called critique. Hmm. Right? And that, that conversation around the differential is called critique. Um, that's, that's for many students the first time they've ever had that conversation, they've ever had it pointed out. Um, and it's a huge uh, issue for a lot of students right off the bat. You have to teach someone how to be critiqued and how to critique other people. Um, and you have to teach them to, to internalize that the critique is of the work, not of the, not of the person, right? It could be a wonderful person and still make really shitty design work. Uh, and that doesn't change the fact that you're a wonderful person. Yeah. Um, and so, um, so you know, we have our formal assessment, but the informal assessment is, is the work product. Um, and at some point, and it's right around now, actually, quarter three-ish of the four quarters, um, something clicks for students where they've they've seen continually that their work product is not where it needs to be, and that's usually a source of anxiety. And in many cases, it causes the students to shut down. They say, "Hell with it, I'm not doing it." Right around now, they, they cross this little divide of um, it's not good enough and therefore I give up to it's not good enough, so I'm going to work harder. Hmm. And that's, that's drive, right? That's, that's um, confidence and drive and passion. Um, it's the, I now have a familiarity with the tools, and so I feel like I can actually cross that divide on my own.